In four of the poorest counties of Gansu, western China, a transformation is taking place. More and more children are going to school. For generations, poverty, along with ethnic and language divides, kept many families from sending their children to school. But in just six years, the Gansu Basic Education Project dramatically changed people's attitudes and actions, creating an example for other poor areas in China. Uh,尤其是入学,刚入学他的体验是正面的,是积极的,他是愉快的学习的。We identified three very important principles to create the environment for change. Uh, the first of those was paying attention to equity, the second one was paying attention to participation, and the third one was paying attention to processes. At the start of the project, the idea of stressing equity in education was very new in China. For years, people thought that education equity meant to treat everyone the same. Actually, it means to help those children most in need, to give them an equal opportunity with other children. For example, poor minority families have traditionally only sent their boys to school, viewing a girl's education as a wasted investment. The Gansu project remedied this by awarding nearly 14,000 scholarships per year, more than 70% of them to girls. It's kind of conventional wisdom around the world that uh, education for girls is one of the best investments you can make because of the payoff for their families, for their uh, ideas about their own rights and responsibilities. Equity also means treating people of different religions with equal respect. Some parents felt that on religious grounds it was inappropriate for their daughters to be taught by male teachers. The solution was to post hundreds of female minority teachers to schools with the fewest girls. When we sent female teachers to school, there was a good example of one female teacher who went to school where there were no girls in that school. But as a result of her arriving, uh, 20 or 30 girls came to school because the parents were happy to send them. The female teachers not only spoke the local dialects and understood the local customs, they also acted as great role models for the girls. 以前我们回族女孩上学很少,现在很多回族女孩学。那么我们这个学校能够达到女同入学90%的这个水平,而且在逐年的提高,我认为绝大部分的作用还是在于我们的这个女教室。Children with disabilities also need equal opportunities. Children like this are often hidden away at home without ever having access to education. There was really a very low understanding of even what 
uh, children with special education needs meant, how you defined them. And in fact, what we found was that teachers were afraid of those children. They were afraid because they hadn't been trained, they didn't know how to deal with them, and their reaction was to say, actually, those children shouldn't be in my classroom. They should be in a special school or they should be at home. Head teachers received training on how to identify disabled children in their communities and how to persuade the parents to send these children to school. They also learnt how to check the slow learners in the class for vision or hearing disabilities and adapt teaching methods for those children. For parents of children like Xinxin, it's a huge relief to see them enjoying a normal life. The second principle was participation, and that uh, was something that went throughout the whole project. It was uh, underpinned everything. And in fact, one of the things that we identified was it's not enough to talk about these principles, you actually have to demonstrate these principles. It's about demonstration, not dissemination. But even with head teacher training, it was a challenge to introduce the idea of participation. Once the head teachers had learnt to speak their minds, the next step was to get the communities to speak out and find out what they really wanted. Every school has regular community meetings to discuss improvements and problems relating to the school. Community meetings give people a voice in the decision-making process on questions like where to build new schools or identifying which families need most help. So 让这个孩子不让上学，行政司对学校的上学是很支持，也非常关心。Once the local imams gave their support, the rest of the community followed suit. 像那个农村的，不，没文化的话，什么，学生非常多，河北。呃，现在那么农村的，现在教育也比较起高调，现在认识到这个念书，这念书这个好处。Finally, children were given the chance to actively participate in learning. Teachers used role-playing and group activities to stimulate creative thinking and help develop teamwork skills. While the children loved the new style of teaching and stopped dropping out of school, academic results began to suffer. Then, Interesting results began to emerge out of this participatory approach to teaching. Generally, 
嗯升学考试当中，我们所有的考试成绩都达到六十分以上，这在我们这个山区少数民族地区还是已经是很不错的了。Many children said they didn't enjoy reading the Chinese books they were given. We asked the children, "Do you like what books?" We asked them, "Do you like what books?" Some of them liked the familiar life. For example, we liked the books of the village children. So we went to Sofia to study. In 1984, children participated in the development of 24 supplementary readers. In addition, each school received a set of library reference books and children's books, so the children could choose for themselves what to read and take books home to their families too. And so everything that we did in the project was about participation. Has everybody had the chance to speak? Has everybody's voices been heard? Has the, have the leaders taken a back seat and let other people say something? 参与式教学可以让以学生和老师一样上课，在课堂上，在课堂上一起讨论问题。The lessons around the world, not just in China, is if people aren't committed to something, it won't happen. No matter how much money you put in, no matter what you do, you need to have people's buy-in to the outcomes that you're seeking. It needs to be a joint approach. Finally, processes was also really something which I think many people didn't understand at the beginning of this project. Central to this idea of processes is spending much more time on planning activities, providing technical support at each step, monitoring activities during implementation, and ensuring that the extra time used leads to higher quality outcomes. A clear example of how processes improve results is in construction supervision which played an invaluable role in the replacement of unsafe buildings at some 200 schools. Before the, uh, this project, maybe we have no idea about a supervisor, construction supervisor at all. Uh, usually we consider this kind of building is very small. We don't need any supervisor. The construction quality of the first two buildings was found to be so poor that they had to be demolished. Subsequently, contractors ensured that all new buildings were of a much higher quality. The safety of the children is more important than any other thing. Though the uh, supervision may cost a little bit money than without a supervision, but the quality is better. The the process of what we did was very important and we often took much longer to develop things like training materials than the local people would have done. They might have taken one month to develop uh, teacher training materials but we took a year. But at the end of that they could see that the quality of what we had, the sustainability of what we had, was so much better than what you could produce in one month. Namukadangwanli as individual classrooms became better managed by paying attention to processes, so did whole schools. Each year, head teachers must create a school development plan, a comprehensive strategy for creating positive change within their school. They must form a management committee, visit community members, attend community meetings, draft the plan, and defend the plan in front of the County Education Bureau. Once it is ratified, the process includes a system of implementation and supervision, supported by a mid-term review and end-of-year summary. The final step is to begin planning for next year. The 
，让校长和老师们从真正意义上体会到了学校主人的这种感觉。嗯，以前的计划是校长的计划，而现在的计划是我们大家的计划。With more parental involvement, problems are being solved locally. Community members are also taking direct action to help improve school conditions, such as buying playground equipment or donating furniture. 管理观念和教学观念得到彻底的改变，所以说我们现在开展的好多学校管理工作、教学工作都是创造性的，呃，都是朝着创造性的方向发展。To make sure this runs smoothly, county inspectors pay regular visits to the schools. 是以前的这个道德的观念发生了根本性的转变，它是把这个学校的这个教育、教学、学生的发展这些方面放成重点。Inspections now take three days. At least half the time is devoted to classroom observation. 这个项目呢，嗯、呃，从这个改变人的这个思想啊，呃，改变人的这个呃精神面貌啊。Uh, Just as inspection helps schools to develop, every aspect of the project was monitored and evaluated. An independent baseline study at the start of the project, followed by a mid-term review and an end-of-project report, allowed researchers to see its impact. If you pay attention to monitoring and evaluation and correct things before they have a chance to go wrong, you have a much better chance of success and that investment in monitoring and evaluation is not an investment that is wasted. It's an integral part of the project. Using these three principles of equity, participation and processes, the project has helped raise the education standards of more than 700 schools. It has trained more than 6,000 teachers and helped increase net enrollment to more than 95%. Because of the great success in these four counties, the project has now been extended to 31 other counties in Gansu, and key elements have been included in projects in four other poor Chinese provinces. A total amount of £33 million is being funded by the British Department for International Development, helping more than 5 million disadvantaged children. Other provinces in China and in any other countries where they have this kind of, of issue, um, we should take those lessons from Gansu and be bold take some bold steps and see that it works. Yet in even the four original counties, there are an estimated 12,000 children still not going to school. And across rural China, there are millions more children not receiving the education they deserve. We say that rich the unrich. That is, to make education to all the 我觉得这点其实是是最大的挑战，是最难的，也是这个呃我们做好项目的一个非常的非常大的动力，就是怎么样让最后的那些孩子也都能入学。我们做的是不是还不够好？怎么样才能做得更好？